It's a woman FM. Wow, Tani. She has a good rating now. Three minutes, I thought this was five. Okay, let me try and move. I haven't tried so far, just one F4. But it was good to, it was good enough to beat a uh, former world champion who is now retired from classical chess. So hopefully it's good enough against Tani as well. I suppose some exchanges on C6 shouldn't be too bad. Hmm, I don't like this one. I think she should just have uh, taken on uh, on C6 while she had the chance. So now I think I'm getting a huge grip. Maybe I'm losing my grip. Who knows? Knight C5 looks nice. Bishop moves, then c6 is hanging. Yeah, and if this the aforementioned grip is very much in place. Yeah, so the idea is knight e6, I'm just gonna go bishop a3 and ooh e6, that is super ugly. E4, I suppose. If uh, this, yeah, I just go DE and her knight is absolutely, absolutely squashed. Maybe I have to exchange queens now, which is not a problem at all. Rook e8. I like this one. Take away every single square. She literally has no good squares for any of her pieces. And that means, normally means anyway, that her game is lost. And I now get the plan of rook to f1 next, f7 will fall. And there's simply nothing she can do. It's just completely bust. And this doesn't help at all. She's just losing a pawn for for very little compensation. Okay, that was a bit naive on my part. Because I wanted rook f7, but I now see that knight f5 comes. That was a bit unnecessary. That was a bit unnecessary. Okay. Knight bishop g5, obviously not gonna exchange that one. A4, underline her helplessness. <laughs> doesn't help at all, unfortunately. F5, EF, F7. Oh, I think she's going to resign. Okay, 